welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to create threads on an ad using ISO standard datasheets that is going to help us to create the threads on an ad. So let's begin by creating a new document. New, part, OK. Go on top plane, sketch, polygon, make sure this is 6. OK. Click on the origin. Select smart dimension. Now, here are two ways that we can measure the, the head of the nut. We can measure the head of the nut from points using the value of E or we can measure from the lines using the value of S. Right now I'm going to design a nut for 10 millimeters diameter. So I'm, I'm looking for the diameter of 10 millimeters and I'm trying to figure out which is the value of S. The value of S, as you can see here, is 17. So from this line to this line here, 17. Escape. As you can see, my sketch is underdefined. Uh, so click one of these lines here and make them uh, horizontal or vertical, that's mine. Exit sketch, features, extrude boss. As you can see, my value of M is my height. So here I'm going to use the maximum value of M, which is 8. 8, enter, OK. The next step is to click on this surface, sketch, click on circle, on the origin, Select Smart Dimension, click on Circle, and type 10 because I'm designing a nod for 10 millimeters. That's why I type 10 here. Now go to Features, select Extrude Cut. You can leave it as it is, 8 millimeters or you can change from blind to through all. OK. Now we're going to create some fillets around the nut. So click on this surface, sketch, select the circle on the origin to one of these lines here, doesn't matter. Features, Extrude Cut. You can change the option here to Through All. Enable the flip side to cut. Enable also the draft. And here you're allowed to print to type from 30 degrees to 60. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And select OK. Rotate the nut, <clears throat> select the bottom surface, select sketch, select the circle on the origin to the line, features, extrude, cut. Change the option here to through all 
enable the flip side to cut. Enable the draft also. OK. Now we are going to create a chamfer on these two lines. In this case, my chamfer is proportional to the pitch. What I mean? As you can see from this table here, my pitch for a diameter of 10 millimeters, my pitch is 1.5. So my chamfer is going to be 1.5 here. Click on this line, chamfer, select also the bottom line, and type here 1.5. Leave the 45 degree as it is. OK. So right now, we are going to create the helix and spiral. So click on this surface, select sketch, click on this line, convert entities, go to features, curves, helix and spiral, and I have to select the height and pitch because it's the only data I know. I know that my value of n which is my height is 8 millimeters and my pitch is 1.5 so that's why I'm gonna select the height and pitch here so my height is 8, my pitch is 1.5, reverse direction selected, start angle degree at 0 clockwise, constant pitch, OK. Now we just create the path that the sketch thread is going to follow. Right now I have to find which plane contains the end of this path we just create. So don't click anything, just go in on above these planes here. And as you can see the right plane is a plane that touches the end of this path. Let's take a closer view. As you can see, it's exactly on the at the end, on the on this path. So click on the right plane, sketch, select the polygon, make sure this is three, enter. Select the center line from this point to this point, escape, now this data sheet here is going to help us to design the thread sketch. Somebody asked me from the previous uh, tutorial where I get this value from. These values, the pitch, the age, the angle degrees, 
are constant equations, are constant measurements that they can change in any way. So, my, my age is the main measurement that I need to know. My age is equal to root of 3 over 2 times pitch. If, if you calculate the uh, root of 3 over 2 is equal to 0 0.866. So I have my age to be equal to 0 0.866 time, times pitch. In this case, because I'm gonna design, uh, I'm designing a nut of 10 millimeters. For 10 millimeters, my pitch is 1.5. So here, my age is gonna be 0 0.866 times 1.5 which is equal to 1.299 times 1.5 From this data sheet, um, the, these are the internal threads and these external. Wasn't different. These two shapes here, fr from this, from this side, so these two triangles are the threads for the bolt. From this side, so fr from this side, the external threads is the thread for the nut. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna concentrate on this triangle here. Where I'm gonna f figure out how we're going to design this uh, triangle. So this point here is this point here on SOLIDWORKS, okay, this point here. And this point here on SOLIDWORKS is this point here on datasheet, these points. So um, the, what, what, I have, what I'm trying to do here is to find the distance between this point and this point here. From this point to this line is h over 8. And from this line to this point here is 5h over 8. So I have to add the h over 8 and the 5h over 8 together. 1 over 8 plus 5 over 8. 1 over 8 plus one, uh, 5 over 8 equals to 3 over 4 h times h. I know that my h is 1.299 so 3 over 4 times 1.299 is going to give us this number here is going to give us the distance between this point and this point here which is a center line we just create on solid words So, select smart dimension, select the center line, 
3 over 4 times 1.299 enter if you want to see the whole number here you can go escape you can go to the options document properties dimensions and change the decimals here select the last one select the last one here also and press ok so now if we if we make this calculation 3 over 4 times 1.299 is equal to 0 0.97 425. The next step is to create this curve here. This curve is equal to h over 12. In on previous tutorial where I create um, threads on a board, I explain how I get this value from. I proved how I got this value. So if, if you want, I'm going to put a link right here or right here and click to uh, see how I prove it. So the same thing is applied on this uh, curve. So uh, right now go to sketch fillet. and type here h over 12 my h is 1.299 over 12 enter select this point here select ok select ok again and the last thing is to pierce this point with the path so click on this point hold control key select this path and make them pierce exit sketch so now we create the profile sketch and the, the path now go to sweep cut select the sweep cut Select the profile sketch and the path. OK. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like my video. And please let me know if you want me to create some videos for you.